Mary Humus. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Welcome, welcome to the channel and happy holidays. Today I am about to watch the first 60th anniversary special from Doctor Who. Before I get into it though, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy the channel, if you want to see more content like this, please consider smashing that like and hitting subscribe. It allows you to see more content like this and encourages me to make more. But then again, if you don't like this video, maybe not hitting like is your way of discouraging me. I see you. <laughs> I'm in a cheery mood. I cannot wait for this. Uh, David Tennant is probably my favorite doctor. That's, you know, a bold statement. So many people don't say that. But he, he is one of my favorites, at least. I am one of those people who came into Doctor Who uh, with the new Who. With Christopher Eccleston was my first who he was my first doctor um and then of course came david Tennant, and so on and so forth and i am a person who's enjoyed every single doctor i've had the privilege of watching i have not watched old who i, I i'm aware of some of the lore but i've not really just gone back that far yet yet the fact that we're even getting Tennant back in the role of the doctor is crazy the fact that we've got the dr donna situation to deal with that is insane that that is a scene that absolutely wrecked me and i rewatched it recently getting ready for this and it continues to wreck me so i don't know what i'm in for with these specials i know who we've got in some of these specials but as far as how they're going to rectify some of this especially the dr donna situation i don't know i don't know but i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into this. Oh, and yes, I did complete this ensemble with hot cocoa. A little different, but I get it. Got to catch people up. And adventures and faraway skies. <laughs> okay, and loving this opening. <laughs> is this the, the Disney money? This is beautiful. <laughs> same suit, same swagger. Hold on, let me help. Oi! Immediate, immediate. Just playing games, Mister. bag full of eyes you can wear a suit that's high up to the age of 35 and no further you know what happened donna gave it all away to charity every single penny well we bought the house that's the one thing we did do Okay, I was about to say, units looking pretty slick this time, but I feel like everything looks slicker than usual for who, and I'm, I'm digging it. Hey, Jason, you all right? All right, looking good, Jason. Well, give us a kiss, Joe, boy. Just leave it. And I'm going to tell her. Oh. I remember she had lots of names at school. Mm. And I should know, I invented them. Get them, Donna. Oh, more trouble. I've made you a nice curry. <laughs> Anyone has a go, I will be there, and I will descend. <laughs> I believe her. Sometimes I think there's something missing. Mm. Like I had something lovely, and it's gone. I kind of, I kind of look to the side, like mm. that something should be there, but it's not. But some nights. I lie in bed thinking, what have I lost? Oh. Oh. Oh Rose, my goodness. Have you seen? I remember the preview a little bit. Is this what I think it's going to be? I am 
speak, you can talk. Uh. Leave him. It is the meat we seek. Hello, Sonic Upgrade. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, I really like... This is almost like when he would just look at the Sonic like he was doing readouts. Too good for us now. Either they're not getting in or it's going to be empty. Okay, let's see if this key pulse works. At arms. Oh, there's a third option. I, I did not anticipate this third option. <laughs> Abu Dhabi who buys your stuff, she'd love that one. Those eyes are amazing. They look so real. They look... What? Yeah. What? Oh, no. Did you teach her? What the... Donna! <laughs> Donna, you just... Just went right in there, dude. She remembers me, that's slightly different. No such thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was always the thing. She can't remember him. Oh, wow. He's so cute. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Oh, my goodness. Is that man? Oh, a skinny man. No, it isn't. No, no, he's not there. Hey, hey, that's her. <laughs> Something smells nice. Tuna Madras. <laughs> there is one person missing. I used to know your granddad, Wilf. He's not with us anymore. Right. Of course. He wasn't young. He was... Bob Wilf. I love that man. He's not dead. You idiot. He's in sheltered accommodation. He's 94. He can't manage the stairs. <laughs> we, lucky. we couldn't afford it, but this offer came along. Run by that lot in the middle of town. Unit. This woman in charge, Kate, she says, he's an old soldier. She'll look after him. Right. Kate. Uh -huh. She's looking after Will. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sorry, say that again? We demand to search the house. This has been declared a military zone. Not today, thanks. I think we need to run. Oh! oh. So, both sides want the meat. Uh, like in the new Sonic upgrades. <laughs> okay, I, I'm loving this, and I'm both worried at the same time because Donna. Uh, Oh! You're not bad. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> oh! Her mom's not wrong, though. It's dangerous. This court is now in session. Intercept teleport! <laughs> Attacked. No scorch marks. Donna, can you confirm? Um, yes, um... Yeah, I was noticing that. They're... No, nothing. We were hit by plasma bolts, but there isn't a mark. And now only this one survives. Their leader, the most cruel and despicable of all. Meep. Meep. Now, let's be fair. How oh, to hell with this! Exhibit C! <laughs> You believed every word I said, you stupid woman, with your weird child. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, I dare. No, 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 and I could help. I just felt like the sort of thing he would do. Oh, oh. 
she remembers him. She doesn't even realize it, but she remembers him. Evening, boys. <laughs> You've got weapons in your wheelchair. We all have. Come on. Come on. Donna, come on. Her instinct was to follow. Take her. Take her ten miles away. I love you, Sean. But if the doctor can't save the city, we're all gonna die. I've got to help. She called him Donna. She called him Doctor. Okay, the reason I've been so teary this whole episode is I'm terrified she's gonna remember and she's gonna die. I can do it, half the room, that's fine. Let me help. No, you can't get involved. You can't. <laughs> Traffic's gonna be a pain tomorrow. We've run out of time. Hurry up and do it. What are you waiting for? Oh no. I think all that coincidence was heading here. Because you and I can stop this shit. Together. <gasps> but it will kill you. Okay. You'll die. My daughter is down there. It's nine million people. Who cares about me? I do. I'm just no one. No, you are not. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this. Fingerprint. Saceration. Who's in my finger? Memories. Dance. Are you all right? I gave away my money. Right, but I gave away all my money, making me act as soft as you and give away one hundred and sixty-six million pounds. Yes, Donna, but destruction of London. Oh, I'll show you destruction, mate. I will triple drive past the manifesto. They really sell the gibberish. <laughs> You saved them all. Why did this face come back? I don't know. To say goodbye. Um, Mom. Too much power for one person, but you had a child, and the Meta Crisis passed down a shared inheritance. It was always there, shining out of her. And she chose her own name. Oh, the shed! The shed was her memory of the TARDIS. Oh my! The toys. Happy now. My father would be impressed. I have no <laughs> higher compliment. <laughs> 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 there you go. Just wait till I tell the boss. Cryptic. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> but we've still got to fix you two. Just let it go. And we choose to let it go. Look, I said, mate. Um, lucky am I? After yeah. all these years, <laughs> finally me. 
I don't know how I feel about that. One last trip. Uh, don't you dare. <laughs> you know, I would love to. We could go and see Worth. Now that is cheap. Just a suggestion. I mean it, don't you dare. <laughs> I imagine his face, Mum. Oh, right, but one trip, that's all, just one. <laughs> one tiny little trip. If you give me Wilf. It's like the old days. Just me and the doctor. A lot of husbands would worry. <laughs> you know, me, in a box, with another man. Yeah, but not him. <laughs> 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 Poor doctor. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This. Oh, that's so cool. What's that? It's gorgeous! <laughs> They're both so excited. I love it. Destroying the pretty new set in the first episode. We can end up anywhere in time and space. Oh, did I cry through that whole thing? Pretty much. When I wasn't crying tears of joy, I was just in real tears of just worrying about Donna. Just I was so worried about her the entire time. I was just waiting waiting the entire time for that shoe to drop for her to remember and for her to die I, I really thought that's where we were headed that this was kind of the final farewell to donna so glad it wasn't so so glad it wasn't i'm gonna say that a few more times i am so glad donna survived however i'm i'm struggling with the resolution at the end i was perfectly happy when it was no she shared that with her daughter that they that she had passed it on and that they could both contain the energy okay i, I was the, the knowledge the energy the life force whatever you want to call it the whole letting it go thing just didn't land for me i sat here for a couple minutes after the episode two thinking about what i was gonna say because i'm just like did did that work and with all the buildup with all the buildup over all this time being so worried about what would happen to Donna if she remembered it felt a little bit like a cheat I, I, I was perfectly fine with the whole they were going to share it or honestly and as much as I don't want Donna to die her sacrifice meant so much and it fundamentally changed the doctor it affected him in such a way to preserve her sacrifice I truly think they should have just left it at, no, they were going to have to share it for the rest of their lives. Rose most likely will be fine. Like the doctor could have checked her and like, oh no, she didn't carry as much of it as you. So she, from my readings, you know, she's got a good hundred years on her. Perfect. So she's going to have a happy full life. Then he checks Donna and it's like, you may have 10 years. You may have 50 from these readings. I can't tell. Then you would preserve the sacrifice. Donna could go on knowing, you know what, I may die someday. That's fine. I saved everybody. I did what I was going to do. Heck, I might live out the rest of my days and nothing ever happens. You could have had, she could have had this wonderful life. She would have lived on just going, you know what, we could all die tomorrow. So I'm just going to keep living. There! I, I, all right, all right, enough of that, enough of that. I want to talk about everything else because it was awesome. <laughs> The rest was awesome. That is the only, that is the hiccup. That is the hiccup I've got in the whole episode. Otherwise, I was loving every second of it. He got out of the TARDIS and Donna was there. He just gets out. And there she is. Just, just. <laughs> what? 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 The what's are back. Alonzi. We got an Alonzi. Bring the whole family back and... Adding to it, you know, with Rose, with with her husband. I just blanked on his name. Is it Will? I think it's Will. Um, 
they, they they were great they were absolutely great her mom was cracking me up she always drove me up at a wall but in this i loved her intensely because you could tell she was just looking out for her daughter the whole time and just failing at every attempt and it was so funny oh and i love the i do love the fact that rose picked her own name because she had part of the doctor's memory she she and she had built her own TARDIS and she her toys that she was making were similar to the species they had run across. The Meep. Is it Meep or Meek? I think it's Meep. Um, the heel turn. Kind of saw it coming. Kind of saw it coming. Because after a while I'm going, is this an act? But at the same time, it was very cute. And I was giving it the benefit of the doubt. Especially after the whole <laughs> chosen pronouns thing was pretty funny. Especially when my pronoun is the meep and doctor's going, God, me too. Oh, and the effects. The effects were terrific for a Doctor Who. I mean, I hate to say for a Doctor Who, but it was, this was like some of the most cinematic Doctor Who I've seen in a long time. The episodes are usually decent, but this just felt different. This felt like movie quality. Like they were really pushing for that cinematic movie quality on TV. And it really showed. I loved it. I do think the updates to the Sonic screwdriver might turn some off. Um, but I liked it. I've always felt like the Sonic could do more than what the budget was allowing. Like he's looking at readouts we can't see on the Sonic and doing all kinds of stuff. And to me, it always just felt like it was a budgetary constraint that they couldn't do more with the Sonic. So finally getting to see it do what I've always pretty much imagined it could do. That was pretty awesome to me. It was pretty awesome. I mean, I, I don't know if I want him making an energy shield every week. And now that he's done that, I feel like we're going to be like, well, why doesn't he just make an energy shield? I do have an argument against that though. It took him a long time to build that shield and who knows how much power that takes out of the Sonic to do that. So I'm going to say that's not something he can use every time. However, drawing like holographic screens or maps, I, I'm all for that because quite frankly, that, that just lets us kind of see what the doctor sees because again, he's always looked at the Sonic. He's always checked the Sonic. To, he'll scan something and go. And that to me is just budgetary. And now we're glimpsing what he sees. Even when they had the hologram up, it didn't necessarily mean I understood everything on there. And I think that's the way they should keep it too is just let us kind of see into his mind a little bit using the Sonic. And I like that idea. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Doctor and Donna. Neither of them have missed a step. Neither of them have missed a single step in all these years. Tenant, I didn't worry about. I really didn't. Catherine Tate, I, I was a little worried. I haven't seen her in much. Tenant, I see all over the place. He's, he's been in all kinds of things. I didn't figure he would lose a step as the doctor. He might have a little bit. It was a little bit of a worry, but not too much because he's so good of an actor. But I hadn't seen Catherine Tate in a while. She crushed it. She absolutely crushed it. I She didn't miss a beat as Donna, and I freaking loved it. Oh, my. Oh, tears of joy the entire time I saw her. Oh love her Donna, which is funny to me because I'm one of those that did not like Donna at first. I really did not, but they really set her up to be kind of an unlikable character. Like she is so overbearing. Her personality is so overwhelming. It is just, you either accept it or you don't. And I had a hard time accepting it at first, but once I did, I, I just, well, basically by the time the end of her run, I was in tears like everybody else. All right, what did you think of the first special? Leave your comments below. Are you okay with the resolution to the Donna having doctor's memories and just letting it all go? Did you have a favorite moment from the episode that you'd like to talk about? Because I had several. Who is your favorite doctor? Is it Dr. Donna? <laughs> Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, like I mentioned up top, please hit that like and subscribe. And before I completely wrap up here, please, if you're leaving comments, I am only on the first special, so do not post any spoilers from special two or three under this one. I'll be doing specials two and three directly after this. I'll even link them into it here at the end, so you can just jump right to the next special, but please do not spoil the 
next episodes for myself, for one, because I haven't watched them yet, and two, for the others here who might be watching at the same time I am. So, appreciated, but you can leave those comments, obviously, on special two, three, and four, as you may. Before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves, and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.